And the bad weather keeps the lemmings underground. Even she is now begging to the mail for food. How long is this fog going to last? Some eight hours later, it's easing. Though thick fogs like these can linger for days. Things have taken another turn for the worse. The youngest owlet stands weak and isolated. It no longer has the strength to stay with the others. She's detecting that it's too weak to feed now. Though she can at least brood it tenderly. It's really touching to see such a gentle side to her nature. Even the older owlets now seem concerned for their ever-weakening sibling. In his relentless search, our male is now prospecting for lemmings right out towards the coast. This is a good few miles from the nest. The lemming numbers can rise and fall so quickly. It's impossible to know where to look. There could be small pockets of them anywhere on the tundra. There doesn't seem to be any movement from the youngest owlet now. It must be dead. She knows this too. She has invested everything into trying to save her youngest. But there are four others that need her attention. Right in front of us, we notice a sudden and complete change in her. In what seems to us a desperate measure, she feeds the lifeless body to the others. This might at least keep them alive. There's absolutely no sign of the male. With her mate nowhere to be seen and her youngest owlet dead, what will she do next? Our pair's efforts to breed are turning into a disaster.
Hours later, we spot him with a lemming. He hurries back to the nest 